welcome. I thought I'd try a couple of um, do-it-yourself type videos, so I'll give this a go. Let me know what you think. Uh, this one is going to be about setting piston ring gaps. So this is my 3T GTE. It's been bought out to 80 thou and honed, and it's been very closely matched to a, a new set of Wisco pistons. And what I'll go through is how I go about setting up the ring gaps, which obviously is a very important process because uh, the rings expand when they're in the engine. So what you'll need is obviously a set of rings, which I've got the Wiseco ones, good set of filler gauges, so you can measure the gap, and you obviously want to have your bores done. So this is the pistons I used, uh, and the bores are matched to, and you can see the marking that's on number two bore. Um, you also need a ring filer, so this is one I bought, it's about 100 bucks. It sounds like a lot of money, but yeah, it's worth getting. Uh, you need to make sure you rotate it anti-clockwise so that the burr goes on the inside and you don't scratch up your bores. So yeah, again, that's a very handy tool, works very well. So if we get into it, um, I've got Wisco pistons and rings. Uh, in the set and they're all the same pretty much with every manufacturer They'll come with uh, instructions you need to figure out what gaps you want and it will depend on how you're running your engine So for me with turbo I'll probably run moderate to high boost So I've set my gaps up to suit that but in the kit you will have the two thinnest rings are for the oiler uh, which sits in between those two at the bottom of the piston that oiler there doesn't need it to be filed or anything. This is the second compression ring. Uh, it's a darker ring for, for Wisco and that's a top compression ring. You also need to make sure that that top compression ring has a smaller gap than the second compression ring. Otherwise you end up with uh, what they call flutter. And that filer also makes sure that that gap is very consistent and parallel. So just for the specs, um, the Wisco specs for the way I'm running my engine, uh, I've decided to go for the top at 19 thou. As I said, it needs to be a bit bigger for the second ring, so I'm going to go 22 uh, to 23 thou. And the top and bottom wall is not very critical, so I'm going to go 25 thou. So you start this off, have the uh, bores lubed, push it in there with the piston to make sure it's nice and flat. And then once it's in there, just start to measure the gap with your feeler gauges. And you want the feeler gauge just to sort of have a little bit of resistance. Um, this one I'm just measuring up and you'll see it's at about 11 thou, which means I need to take that out and widen that gap because that's the top ring needs to be at about 19. So to do that, we'll just go to the ring filer. Uh, you will see that I always do this anti-clockwise and I just file one side and leave the other one as a datum. Uh, if you try to do both sides at the same time, uh, it doesn't, I don't think it turns out as well, so I don't do that. And you also want to file the burr off, so I'm just using a fine grinding stone. I could use a file, I suppose, but you do want to make sure you get those burrs off uh, so it's nice and clean. What I'm going to do now is stick in one of the second compression rings with another view that you can see here where the gap is on the left hand side. Put it in there, use the, a piston is a good idea to push in, make sure it's completely uh, parallel to the top of the bore and then go in there and measure the gap. So I'm searching for uh, 22 thou and I'm just going in here measuring them up and in this case uh, 22 thou just feels slightly loose and 23 thou is a little bit tight so this one here is probably you know 22 and a half thou something like that uh, which I'm happy with that's fine for the second ring so once you fold them all up it is a bit tedious what I like to do is position them all uh, at the same time so this is the top compression ring put them all in measure them all one last time and make sure that the gap feels the same while uh, they're all in there. So I'm doing that now. All of these um, turn out to be uh, 19 thou and they're pretty much ready to go. So yeah, once they're in, that gap is because as the engine warms up, 
the gap closes you really don't want to have the gap too small otherwise you could potentially seize your whole engine up and if you make the gap too big it will end up uh, blowing smoke and losing compression so once you do it it's also worth making sure that you record your data for future reference so uh, for me 19 thou and that's what I ended up with across the board second compression ring I actually ended up with 23 thou across the board and for the oil oil rings as I said before it's not that critical um, I think the minimum for wise case 15 I'll pretty much ended up with 24 thou 